Toyota's sequential shift automatic transmission is designed to let the driver manually shift gear ranges using the shift lever or in vehicles so equipped by using paddle shifters mounted just behind the steering wheel. This feature gives the driver a sense of manual control while maintaining all the convenience of an automatic. Rather than manually selecting individual gears, the sequential shift transmission allows the driver to select gear ranges, limiting the highest gear normally accessible within each range. In using that manual control, the driver can limit upshifts when cornering on winding roads, for example, to provide a sporty feel, or control the degree of engine braking applied to help maintain speed on long downgrades. When the shift lever is placed in the D, drive position, the transmission operates in normal automatic mode and the system selects the gear appropriate to the conditions. Moving the shift lever left to the S position permits sequential shift selection. When in the S position, moving the shift lever forward toward the plus marking engages a higher gear range. Moving it rearward toward the minus marking engages a lower gear range. The selected shift position and shift range are indicated to the driver in the combination meter assembly. The shift range number indicates the highest available gear within that selected range. For example, in S3, third is the highest usable gear. All ranges include first gear and extend upward from there. Shift range 4 or 5 is the normal default selection when shifting from drive to the S position. As with a conventional automatic transmission, the sequential shift automatic transmission shifts to first gear when the vehicle is stopped, regardless of the shift mode selected. It then upshifts automatically as far as the highest gear available within the selected range. If the vehicle is being driven too fast to downshift safely, shifting to a lower range will not be permitted and a buzzer will sound to alert the driver if an attempt is made. In addition, if the engine speed rises too high in any gear, the transmission will automatically upshift. In vehicles with steering wheel mounted paddle shifters, pulling back on the paddles marked plus and minus performs the same functions as moving the shift lever to the plus or minus positions. The driver may choose to use either the floor or paddle shifters. There are several ways to shift from manual mode back into automatic mode. The driver can simply move the shift lever to the right to put the vehicle back in D, drive, hold the plus paddle for a period of time, or shift to a gear range higher than five. To prioritize fuel efficiency and reduce noise level, it is recommended that drive be selected for everyday driving situations.